Hey, g'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, while I'm out here with the 110 scale HSP stadium truck here, I thought I'll make a quick clip. Just giving a bit of a shakedown pass. Um, I bought this about two weeks ago, two weekends ago actually, um, for only 70 bucks uh, from Facebook Marketplace. So it's not brand new, it's second hand. I uh, saw these going for around 310 bucks. And it's a nitro, as you can see here. So uh, yeah, just needed a bit of a uh, little bit of TLC. I cleaned it up a little bit. Um, didn't have an air filter. Need a new glow plug. The young bloke that had it before me, uh, who I purchased it from, I asked him how long ago he ran, and he said around six, seven months ago. So uh, yeah, just needed fresh fuel. You know, a bit of uh, maintenance. Uh, it doesn't have a front diff. It's uh, blown. He never told me that, but I don't mind. I mean, it's only seventy dollar car. Um, I've got spare parts from uh, an X-Tar buggy, so I've got a front diff for it. I just haven't put it in yet. So it's rear-wheel drive at the moment, and um, yeah, it runs all right. It bogs down a little bit, but I'm, I'll just uh, tinker around and uh, sort the issue out eventually. It's not too bad, though. Um, I just tested it out on the field here, just done a quick uh, speed test without the body shell on, and uh, got 36.8. I just wanted to see what sort of speed it gets. So um, I'm going to put the body shell on. I just put some fuel in it again, and uh, yeah, I might take it out on this tarmac, see, uh, have a bit of a play with it, and uh, before I go home. So uh, yeah, I'll start it up. It's warmed up now, so it should kick over straight away. Um, I reset all the uh, high and low speed needles to factory because uh, the gap for the carby was a bit too uh, wide and had trouble starting. When I first uh, when I first uh, bought it, but now it kicks over straight away. So anyway, I'll uh, start it up, put the body shell on, and we'll have a bit of a play with it before I head off home. Just thought I'll uh, share my new purchase here. This is my third stadium truck, but it's my first uh, second-hand one. <laughs> It is a two speed. Running rear wheel drive at the moment. You hear that second gear? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, pretty cool, you know. I couldn't uh, pass up the opportunity of buying it for 70 bucks. <laughs> Considering these are going for around 300 brand new on, or over 300 on eBay. Nice. So yeah, it's only rear wheel drive at the moment. And also, yeah, I'm running the uh, Esheen TX6 uh, transmitter. This came with the HSP uh, Fly Sky one, the standard transmitters that all HSPs come with. And uh, it was shocking, guys. It was the worst transmitter from HSP that I've had so far. I only had like 30 meters of range or 20 meters range each way. So I quickly got rid of that. This one has, a, it's like a Dumbo RC. It has about five, 600 meters range. And sometimes it bogs down a little bit, but I've tuned it a little bit, but uh, probably needs a little bit more of a fine tune. As long as it's running rich rather than lean, I'm happy. So it's getting great range now. No problems with range. Okay, I just thought I heard a car behind me. So yeah, just bogged down a bit there. So yeah, anyway guys, I just thought, oh, uh, I've got plenty of fuel left. 
just thought I'll show you uh, one of my new purchases. Well, second-hand purchase, but it's new. It's a new purchase to the collection. The Destrier or Destroyer HSP short course racing truck, uh, 110 scale nitro that I picked up from Marketplace. So uh, yeah, I advise you know look on Marketplace now and again. You can get yourself a pretty good little uh, deal there. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Actually, before I go. I want to see what sort of speeds we got on the tarmac here. We got, uh, whoa, we got 38 on the uh, on the field. We got 50, 49.9 on the on the road here. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. Yeah, nice. All right. So yeah, I'll do a bit of a fine tune to it. Try to stop it from bogging down. I mean, it didn't bog down much. Only at the end there where it actually shut down. Um, you know, the rest of uh, those runs up and down were not too bad, but uh, yeah, hit second gear, not a problem. Gearbox is perfect, motor's fine, so uh, yeah, I'm really, really happy with this truck. So, there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>